Look at we've got look we've got Jandre spotted it just on the other side of the car and it's actually walking right past us. It is a water monitor. Isn't this beautiful? We've been seeing a lot of rock monitors lately. This could be one of the oh, I think I've seen a water monitor here before. But I prefer them. Out of the two, they are my favorite. They don't quite look as prehistoric as a rock monitor does. A rock monitor is a little bit more robust, a much squarer head. Trying to see where it's going. I'm going to stand up very quickly. Oh my goodness, it's literally right in front of my car. I don't think I've ever had a water monitor sneak right past me like this. Let's see if it's going to pop out. And it's not a massive one. I've seen bigger. There it is. I've seen bigger. So it's still quite young, probably only a couple of years old. They can get in excess of a meter. This one is probably about half a meter, maybe slightly less than that. And you can see how it's dragging its tail in the sand. So now you can see perfectly how it creates that track. Claws on either side of its body with a long line between the, the four feet prints. Footprints, sorry. That's amazing. I don't know why it's so relaxed. Perhaps because it's been living around the lodge and it's used to seeing tractors and people and all sorts of things. There's an Egyptian goose keeping a close eye on it as well. But I don't think it would be too panicked because a water monitor of that size would not be able to take an, an adult Egyptian goose. Need to be a little bit bigger, but if there were some Egyptian goose chicks around here, or perhaps a little three-banded plover, something along those lines, they'd have to be careful because these guys like to eat things like that. They'll eat eggs, they'll dig up the crocodile eggs. That's actually one of the, uh, the biggest threats to crocodile eggs and nests are water monitors and rock monitors finding them, digging into the ground. They're very adapted, well adapted to digging with those big claws and then they'll catch the, or scoop up the eggs and eat them. But good luck to the monitor if it is caught by a female crocodile because they do guard their, their nests, not necessarily on top of them all the time but within a couple of meters. And that's what it could maybe be doing is scouting through these areas looking for a spot perhaps where a nest could have been dug. Isn't this cool? Now, Laurie, you're wondering why they call these things monitor lizards. So, in South Africa, we actually call them a, a legavan is another name for them. And I suppose you could say that they're cousins of the Komodo dragons. Uh, not quite exactly the same, much smaller, of course. I'm not sure where they get the monitor part uh, to their name. I'll have to do a bit of, I think, searching on the interweb to see. Um, but you call the, um, what is the other, my goodness, my little, 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 I'm tangled again. But uh, this is a Nile monitor lizard. That's the real name. Look at the way it moves. It's really so prehistoric, the way that they sort of crawl over things very slowly. Actually, they're not very slow. If you've ever seen one at full tit, tilt coming out of the water or darting down a bank into the water, they've actually got some power behind them. And the Egyptian goose didn't even alarm once. It